Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we have been creating this website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now we are in the process of converting this design into a blogger website. And this is how our website looks right now. We have this home page displayed over here and if I click on view all posts, we have this design displayed over here. Now instead of these static data, we need to display the actual data of our posts. So we will do that in this video. Let's get started. So here I have logged into my blogger dashboard. So let's go to the theme tab and let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. And uh, we had added the code for this uh, design in the includable with an ID of post. So let's search for that. I'll just type ID equals post. And this is the includable and in that we have this card division and right now we are adding this static data over here. Right now let's go ahead and add our actual data. So the first thing we will do is uh, change this href into the actual link of the post. For that let's go ahead and change this href to an expression. So let's type expr colon and here we can add a dynamic value. Let's type data colon post dot url. So this will give us the url of the current post and then we need to display the thumbnail. Now the thumbnail is basically the first image in our post in a blogger website. So we need to add an if condition and we need to check whether we have a thumbnail. So let's type less than b colon if and let's add a condition and uh, here in this condition we need to type data colon post dot first image url and this will check whether we have a thumbnail for a post and uh, let's go ahead and add the source over here so I'll just delete this data and let's change this to an expression and here in the source let's type data colon post dot first image url and for the alt let's change this into an expression and here let's add the title of the post so let's type data colon post dot title right now let's add an else condition over here so let's type less than b colon else and let's close the if condition right here and here in the else if you don't have a thumbnail we need to display a thumbnail placeholder so let's go to our dashboard and here we have added all the images inside our page called image for the theme and let's search for the thumbnail placeholder so this is the image that we are using for the thumbnail placeholder i'll just right click over here and click on copy image address and let's paste the address over here. So I just create an IMG tag. Let's add alt of data colon post dot title. And uh, for the source, we can just simply go ahead and paste this URL. And then after that, we have the title. And for the title, also we need to add the link of the post. So let's change this into an expression. And here, let's type data colon post dot URL. And here instead of this hard-coded title, let's change this to less than data colon post dot title. So this will give us the title and display it over here inside the S3. And then we need to display the labels. Now here we can see that there are multiple labels in some of the posts. So we need to go ahead and add a loop. So I just type less than B colon loop. And let's set the values to data colon post dot labels and uh, we need to add a variable as well so let's type var equals and let's set the value to label now we can access each of the labels with this uh, label variable let's close the b loop over here and i'll just cut this line of code from here and let's paste it over here and here for the href let's change uh, this to an expression and uh, here let's type data colon label dot url and here instead of this text let's change this to less than data colon label which we are getting from here dot name and let's remove this line of code and then lastly we need to display the post snippet over here so let's delete this uh, paragraph and we need to evaluate the value over here so for that we have to type less than b colon eval and we need to add the expression right here and uh, let's set the expression to data colon post dot snippet 
and let's self close this tag. Now this should display our dynamic data from the posts and let's save this and let's see whether this works. Let's go back to our website and reload. And now we can see that the dynamic data is being fetched from the posts in our website. So here we can see that all these uh, thumbnails and titles and all these things are displayed over here. And when we don't have a thumbnail, we have this thumbnail placeholder displayed over here. And here we can see that we have the correct links for these uh, labels as well. So if I click on one of these labels, we can see that all the posts of that label is being displayed over here. If we click on, for example, AI, all the posts of AI are being displayed over here. So that's basically how you can add this uh, dynamic data to your posts. Right now, while we are here, let's also add the functionality of the search. So if I click on this search icon, we have this search box displayed over here. And here, if I just type, let's see, let's type chat GPT. And let's click on this search button. Right now, nothing happens because we haven't added the search functionality. So let's add that. Let's go back to our theme code. And uh, let's search for the search element. We have a division with a class of search input container. And uh, let's search for it once again. So here we have the search and we already have this form. So let's add some values over here. In the action, we need to change this to forward slash search. And we need to set the method to get. And then here for the input field, we need to add a name attribute. So let's type name. And let's set the value to Q. And we can set the type to search. And then here we have the submit button. And now this should work. So let's click on save. Let's go back to our website and reload. Now just click on the search icon and let's search for something. Let's type chat GPT. And let's click on search. And now we can see that only the search results for the current search term is displayed over here. Now here we have some problems in our styling. So we don't have the correct width for this search element. So for that, let's go back to our theme code. Let's go to the CSS. So right now we have set the search input field type to search. So let's search for dot search input container. And let's search for it again for the CSS. And here we have the CSS and in the CSS, I think here we are targeting the type of text. Let's change this to type of search. And let's scroll up and I think we have the search over here as well. So let's change this to type of search. And let's do that over here as well. And now let's click on save. Let's go back to our website and reload. Now let's click on the search icon and we have the correct styling for the search. So let's search for something else. Let's go back to our list of posts. And uh, let's search for something that has uh, multiple posts. So I'll just search for out. And let's type out over here. And let's click on search. And now we can see that all the posts which has this title of out are displayed over here. So with that, our search functionality is working all right. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.